Now you'll have probably seen Conor McGregor's custom 51 bike from the Tour Down Under last year when John Canning's got his grubby little hands on it. But now we're at NABS, that's a North American handmade bicycle show here in beautiful California and we've got one of 51's latest offerings. It's the custom bike for the world heavyweight boxing champion Anthony Joshua. If you're not familiar with Anthony Joshua, he burst onto the boxing scene at the London Olympics in 2012 winning gold before turning pro and he's currently got a 22 match winning streak which makes him the number one heavyweight boxing champ in the world. Just like Conor McGregor, Anthony Joshua is well known to use cycling as a crucial part of his fitness regime alongside his boxing training. But enough of that, let's get on to the build. Now this is a custom carbon fibre build from 51, but what's most fascinating for me is that, as you could probably tell, Anthony Joshua isn't exactly of normal proportions. Coming in at about 6 foot 5 tall and weighing over 115 kilos, that's certainly something that you need to take into consideration when engineering a custom build like this. So how exactly have 51 taken this into account when it comes to designing such a bike? They use the thickest gauge carbon fibre tube set as well as using three times as much wrap as they usually would on the joins between the tubes to make it as strong as possible. Now this does come at a slight weight penalty, so the frame set here weighs around 1100 grams compared to a typical 850, but I think that's something that's more than worthwhile to reinforce this bike for Anthony Joshua and make it as strong as possible. Now let's just take a moment to appreciate this paint job. I know that white bikes won't be for everyone, but you can't help but admit that this is simply striking. It's unmistakably Anthony Joshua's, from the lion's head crest on the humongous head tube, right the way through to the mottos which he has plastered all over the bike. There's second to no one on that rather chunky chainstay. There's stay hungry written down the inside of the fork. And one that I particularly like is this 25-8 slogan, and that's said to refer to his relentless work ethic going above and beyond that 24-7 that us mere mortals do. The bike is built up with the all-new SRAM Red ETAP Axis group set with the hydraulic disc brake version. Joshua has chosen to have 48-35 on the chain rings as well as a 10-33 tooth cassette which is Certainly kind of road cassette I could get behind. Now Anthony is running the Zip 303 NSW carbon clinches on this one, which are finished off with the Zip Tangent 28mm tyres. Now you might not believe me, but these are in fact the standard 700C wheel set, even though it might not look like it on this one. Now the finishing kit has all been colour matched with that same pearlescent white paint job as the frame, from the seat post and stem to the 46 centimetre wide bars, which are finished again with the Zip Service Course handlebar tape. A couple of other interesting custom details are the 51 branded seat clamp and stem cap. And interestingly, the engineers actually told us that when it came to cutting the steerer tube, there's only about 30 mil excess, which just shows you how massive this bike is. The last couple of parts on this build are the saddle of course, which is a physique Arioni, again with that beautiful gold detailing, and there's a silker titanium bottle cage, and if you look really closely on that one, it also features the 51 logo etched into it. Now do remember to give this video a big thumbs up, and let us know exactly what you think of this build down in the comments. Head over to the GCN shop if you'd like to see some cool merch from us, and if you'd like to see another really swag bike from 51, check out Conor McGregor's Pro Bike just down here.